Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan111, and welcome back to Baba Is You. We're continuing in the land of vehicles, and today we've got a happy dance. Dog is word. Look at the doggies. Look at them prance and scamper and run. Hedge is stop. Dog is you. Not idle. Skull is defeat. So, so long as I'm not idle. Interesting. But I could be idling. Okay. Uh, is locked down. Flag is win. So something needs to get up there to set up flag is win. Here's the flag. Something is move. So yeah, not idle. Got it. Okay. And locked down. So that means wouldn't be able to move downward. So that would be only moving upward. And move is kind of in a corner over here, but dog is word. Okay, I get it. And so not idle skull is defeat. So I just have to idle while I'm moving in order to get up there somehow. Something, something dark side. Okay. I don't see why I would need the lockdown stuff, and so let's just do this. Oh. Starting to see why I might need the lockdown stuff. So there's Dog's move. And if you were locked down, you could be facing down as much as you wanted and stay there. Okay. Um, let's, let's play around with that. Oh, he's already locked down. Careful. Uh, once he's locked down, will he ever be able to undo this? He won't be able to move down ever again. But he might not need to. But I want this doggy friend to be up here when I do this. So that involves staggering them. Like this. And so now if I wait... Why is bottom doggy not going up? Because he needs to go down to turn around. Oh. And if I go up, I'm just going to die. Okay. So what if I didn't have the lockdown bit? Then this doggy could move upwards, but then the other doggy would move upwards as well. And if I try to move, I'm dead. And if I idle, I'm not going anywhere because I'm not moving anymore. So the question is... I need him locked down, but also moving up. Hmm. What am I not seeing here? Also, is there a reason for this section over here? Or this middle bit? I don't think there necessarily is. Look at the dog scamper in France. I like the running animation. Um, so I either need this guy to not be locked down so that he'll be able to bounce off the wall and turn upwards. I need to have the is move first. Move is not all the way at the bottom right at the beginning. I think I see it. So, if we do like this, and then spread them apart appropriately, now it's moved down, and so now I can wait. And he's already bounced up before he got locked in that position. Flag is win. Great. Uh, I'm locked downward. But I can break that. I can't move down, but I can move up. How do I break it? Uh, I don't need to. I just need to get to the flag. Getting to the flag is non-trivial. It's fine. We did it. <sighs> ah, one of our two doggies had to perish, which is very sad. Okay, pushing uphill. Sounds like there's going to be a variant of this particular puzzle. Mm -hmm. 
don't have the locking this time. Oh, and it's cats! <gasps> I'm a cat! Uh, the cat movement seems a little too dog-like to me. I feel like they got lazy. I think the cat should have been less running and jumping and more little tippy tap scurrying across the road for the cat animation. I am disappointed. I think this cat animation could have been better. Um, but I'm still happy to have kitties. Uh, now I'm afraid that one of them's gonna die just like the doggy, so... Cat is you, head to stop. Text is locked downwards. Text cannot move downwards. Interesting. Pushing uphill. Got it. So... And now I have space to move up once here. Alright, so I need to move up. And then idle. That seems straightforward. So all I need to do is set up Mia's move right here. Or, you know, wherever. Yeah, doesn't seem like a problem. In fact, why can I not just do... Uh, what do I want to do? Why can I not just do... I need it to be a little bit more to the right. Oops. Oops. But I need it to be to the right. Let's come from the left. And I can respace the cats. Uh, I think it needed to be there. Uh, no, I am one too far to the right. So let's do here. Uh, now I'm going too far to the left. Here we go. Okay. Idle, idle. Oh, I'm no longer move. <gasps> Pushing uphill. And if I do that right, I have to idle. Hmm. That's why all of this space exists up here, because I need to push it all the way uphill. Got it. Okay. So... All right, I think I understand. Uh, I need space to stick to the right of it, so I need to do something like this. So there's his move. Then I need a kitty in this row while the other kitty is in this row. So one to the left of that, and then right here. Idle. Great. So now we're just going to keep on idling. Oh... I can't push uphill because the kitty d mm. Text is locked for moving down. Oh, I get it. I get it. I need to spell it vertically. So I need to do... This bit spaced out. Um, here? So if I go downward... Oh, except for that's not pushing the text up. Hmm. How's this gonna work? Text is locked for moving down. So I need it at the very top. Got it. So I need... Let's do it with you. Not there. I need that. I think. And then I need left hand cat to be much higher than right hand cat. Which can be accomplished thusly. And then I could wait. I can wait. Uh, these are out of sync, but we'll fix it in a second here. Uh, no, we won't fix it there. <laughs> Alright, so in that case, if I go here, and then face upwards, I need it to be idling. Got it, so this cat needs to be farther down. 
Okay. So I need that cat farther down. So how do I get that cat farther down? By doing... Uh, not there. Okay, that cat is one farther down now. Great. And I need him right there. Okay, so now my cats are in sync. And I need to try to move downwards. And then idle. There we go. Flag is win. I did it. And is there any way to save the other kitty? I don't think there is. And the kitty doesn't have a great animation. So I'm going to live with having sacrificed one kitty to get another kitty to win. Even though it makes me feel bad. <laughs> Alright. Another variation. A steep hill. Cat is you. Cat is word. Hedge is stop. This time the text is not locked. Not idle skull is defeat. Flag is win. And there's not the little thingy in the way. Uh, is move. Okay. Um... So I have like all this running start. Text is not locked. I need to be facing upwards. Why can I not just do this now? Um, I want that to be one further to the right. Can I do that? Yes, I can idle. So why does this not work? Or does it? Uh, I shouldn't have separated you. Wait, wait. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, because I had to move. So is there a corner that I could put his move in? Where the cat would be trapped? Probably. So basically I need left cat not to be able to move up and down. Or not to be able to move left and right. While still forming his move so I can just continually idle. Or... Is there a way to have the kitties pushing the text in between? Ooh, yeah. What if, what if, what if the kitties vertically were surrounding the text is move? So one was pushing from the bottom and one was something from the top. So that would require them to be one more space to part north-south and then even east-west. And then if I go upwards... If I go downwards and wait for things to bounce, that actually doesn't work. Can I go upwards from here? Yeah, okay. Now we just idle, 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 idle. Flag is win. And now if I go down, we die. If I idle, we have a problem. So how do I get out of here at the end? If I turn right and then press up, there we go. Idle, 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 and we're done. Okay. All right, those puzzles were not bad. Dogs and cats are no match for the brains of Brian, at least on this day. So stand by for the next puzzle. Baba's you. Robot is still. What is still? Why did I just die? Baba near cloud is defeat. I figured out why I died. Uh, robot is still. Robot is melt. Robot is move. Oh, so still overrides move. Look at this crazy robot. He's going crazy. Settle down, little robot. Why should you be moving around when you could be still? All right, great. Learned a new rule. Presumably, if robot was push, maybe I wouldn't be able to push the robot as well. Like maybe it, well, that'd be like stop then. Still silences move. Like, I wonder if it silences auto. I wonder if it silences the ability to be sh shifted or pushed. And I wonder if I'll get the opportunity to find that out uh, in one of the next five puzzles after this one. Sun is hot. Robot is melt. Robot is move. Flag is win. Baba's push. Cloud is stop. Blah, 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 blah. We could say robot is you. The problem is he would melt on the sun trying to get up there. But if Robot was you and move, then he could jump right past the sun, 
However, if he were you, then he would have been defeated by the cloud. No, Baba near cloud is defeat, not you near the cloud is defeat. Um, so yeah, why can't I just... I don't know how to reorient the ro robot, that's the problem. Because the robot's not push. Oh, yeah, I do. I can just make a Mew. Right, we already said this. Okay, so... I did not push the word is in all the way. Hold on. Uh, oh, and, ah. <laughs> you get out of the way so I can come up here and get that out of the way. And I think I want you to be there -ish. sure. Okay, robot is you. Robot is move. So I'm going to be moving super fast. I killed Baba. Is that fine? It might be fine still. So, if I just choose the right moment to jump right past the sun, then I can get to the flag. Great. Be nice if you could see my inputs there. Sometimes I was moving and sometimes I was idling. That's usually the trick when the U object is move. You can either move two squares or one square by actually moving or just idling and keeping your facing direction to allow you to move. All right, stand by. We did it. Written in stone. Show me another case of still with also a push. Flag is push. Text near Baba is skill. still. Baba is you. Great. Um, so, can immediately try out. Text near Baba is still. Oh, I can't break up this text. Cannot immediately try out what I want to try out. Text is fall. There we go. Uh, zoink. Uh, no, I can't. Text is still. Right. Okay. Huh. Text is text, text is defeat, flag is not you, flag is push, cloud is stop, text is fall is a possibility, flag is win. So I would need something underneath the flag holding things up when the text becomes fall for the flag to be win, which I'm not sure how to do offhand. Uh, text could be you, except text is defeat, and so I just get defeated. So... Text near Baba is still. Got it. So I could push away text from far away. Okay, so I can test what I wanted to test. So let's... Do, uh, right, I can use the flags to push the text out of the way. Great. Flag, 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 flag. Oh, but then I'll say Baba is still. And now I can't go anywhere. Okay, so then what I needed to do is do this. There we go. Okay, great. So, Baba is you. Uh, flag is push. What happens if flag is still while flag is push? This is what I want to know. Although text was push, so I think I already found out the answer, which is still overrides push. I hadn't really thought about that. I had already formulated in my brain that I wanted to say flag is push and flag is still at the same time in order to experiment, and didn't realize that I'd already conducted the same experiment on text. Okay. So, oh, I can just say text near flag is still, and presumably it won't fall. So if I do this, and say text near flag is still, and then say text is fall, da -da -da -da. Hmm. still was not strong enough to override fall. All right, we learned a thing. Um, then how am I going to support the word win? How does one do things and stuff? Baba could get in here, and Baba could be push. Can flag be you? Flag is not you. Can text be you? Text is defeat. So I don't see another can flag is Baba. 
can flag near text be Baba. Yes, we're going to transform one of the two flags into Baba. Uh, flag near text is Baba. Is my new plan. Which sounds terrific. So then I could have a second Baba. Text is text. That's fine. It's not what I was trying to say anyway. Flag is flag. I missed that. All right, so I can't transform a flag into Baba. Flag can't be you, text be, can't be you, text can't turn into Baba, flag can't turn into Baba. So I don't see a way that I can gain a second actor. So if Baba is the thing to support the word win, then I don't see how I would make Textus fall. And I don't see a way to push another object in here to support the word win. So I don't see how to do the puzzle. Just to be clear, if I say text is still, and I say text is fall... Oh. <laughs> well, we'll do it with flag near again. If I say flag near, text is still... No, text near flag is still, sorry which I think is exactly what I wrote before, and Fall still overwrote it, but I want to see it again. Text near flag is still. Text is Fall. And why did all the text die? Because it formed text as you at the bottom, because of the particular orientation of things that I had, and that caused the text to die. Ah! Text near something as you could defeat portions of the text, but not all of the text. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Accidental discovery of utility. Text near flag is you will defeat just certain words. What words can I defeat uh, that will help me win? I could undo text is fall after having done it. Right now, that's the only one I see. Because I can't get a flag near enough uh, some of the other, other bits that would be helpful. It, mm, text near flag is you could be formed right here. Like Baba's you happen to start in this column, which is pretty Convenient. Uh, no, it would have to be one to the right. Which I can't do right now. I was thinking the text near flag could just like fall uh, where it is after text is near flag is still or whatever. Uh, but text near flag is still is not helping me. Okay, so text near flag is you is my new best friend, I think. So let's just witness that I could destroy the word win by setting up this rule. Okay, so that makes it possible for me to conditionally just bust up a small amount of the text. Suppose I said text is fall. Then the win would be trapped in a useless corner. I need something to support the win. Hmm. Like, breaking up Texas Fall doesn't seem to help me. It would give me access to another text is or another uh, flag is. But I'm not sure that that's sufficient for me to break up. Like, I'd really like to break up some of these other rules that are over here, but I can't get a flag near enough to them. Text near Baba is you is not all that great, I don't think. I 
don't have a not to say like text not near flag is fall something something okay i've done a number of things with this puzzle let's take a moment to stand back the main problem i see is the positioning of the win word i don't see, uh i was about to say i don't see a way to get anything to the left of it it's not entirely true because there's flat there's text but the text can't be me long enough to push the flag so yeah let's imagine i can't get to the left of the word win to get leverage to push the win word win out to the right so what are the other ways that i could form something as win one is the main way that i've been trying to do which is to support the word win with something underneath it but all i've managed to come up with is baba uh, could the act of Baba moving here also cause some other rule to come into play, which would move something else to the left? I don't think so. And I really haven't been taking advantage of the word still. But yeah, I can have the words f flag and is fall and win somehow not fall in ways I can't imagine. I could push the word win out to the right, but I can't imagine any way to do that. Is there another way that I could push a flag here? I don't think so. Because it would have to be flag is you and flag is not you. Um, if I push the word win to the left, can that help me in any way? I struggle to see how, but sometimes the act of doing lets you see things you didn't originally see. That does not seem helpful. Even after the text fell, it still doesn't look like it's going to be helpful. So I don't think that's going to help me. Near is a very powerful word because it allows us to do conditional transformations and deletions and all kinds of things. only way to maneuver an object here is for it to be you. The only object that can be you is Baba, which implies Baba needs to be here. When Baba moves here, is there a way for text to be fall? If I could get the word fall out, could I say like, you know, text near Baba is fall or something? I need like the text, yeah, not near Baba to be fall or something. Um... Text near text is fall or something? Uh, text is fall, that's the problem. I, fall is already trapped in a place where all I can say is text is fall. What are all the phrases I can make with near? Text near flag is... Push, doesn't matter because text is already push. Text near flag is baba. Doesn't matter because text is text. Text near flag is you is something I already used to conditionally kill only certain bits of text. That does seem useful. Baba near flag or text is push or still. Doesn't seem useful. What am I missing? If I push the flag here, and then push the flag downward here, I still couldn't get it over to the left. And there's no way to form anything with wind now. 
Uh, let's just back up. Um, what else am I not coming up with? I still haven't put together all the near things, I could say. So Baba could conditionally be push or you or still. Text can conditionally be push is not useful. You is useful. Still doesn't override fall. So still doesn't override fall, but does override push. I note also that there's a ledge over here in terms of falling. So in the act of text is fall, I could also cause some other rules to pop into existence at that moment. But what other rules to pop into existence at that moment could I imagine? That would be helpful. Don't think I can come up with any is the problem. Flag conditionally be push. Flag can't be text, can't flag can't be baba. Flag conditionally be you. Flag could conditionally be still. Okay, here is a question that I'm just curious to know the answer to, which is if flag is still, I'm pretty sure I do know the answer, and text is fall. Actually, let's just do it here. Uh, I need flag to be still. So flag is still and text is fall. Is push going to fall through the flag or on top of the word flag? I think push is going to fall on top of the flag. It fell through. So stillness is not like stop. It's not like push. It's just an inability to be pushed or shifted or moved. It seems. All right, so I learned something about still that I didn't know. But I'm still not sure what to do, so let me just sit and think about this for a little bit. Another thing that I just want to text, test. If text near flag is still, then Baba is unable to push the word Baba because it's near a flag. If I add text as push, which text should already be, oops, should already be push, is there any chance that that somehow changes the behavior? I seriously doubt it, but I just want to know. Okay, it doesn't change the behavior. Here's another experiment I want to try. If text becomes still at the moment that it falls, because it falls on a flag here, yeah, it just locks in the text afterwards, right? Yeah. So I can't push any of the text anymore because now the text is still, but it already fell. So it's not like there's an ordering thing there. Is there a way that I could get down here with a leftward move, somehow have text near flag is you and move the text to the left before it got defeated? and have a piece of text right here that was near a flag so that the piece of text would somehow execute this for me while Baba was push. The problem is I need text near flag is you already phrased because during this move I wouldn't be able to phrase it. And if text near flag were already you, and there were already a flag there, then it would be too late. Because the text would have already defeated itself. I, I just, I feel like I need another actor who does this leftward press at the same time that Baba is down here. But flag is not you, and text is defeat, and so every time text is you, if text is still and text is you, could the still prevent it from defeating itself or something? So text near flag is still. 
I can't do this. Um, I can probably undo, but here's another way to rescue the word text right now. There we go. Um, so text near flag is still. Oh, but I need the flag to still be pushed. Hold on. What was I trying to do? I want to see if text defeats itself when it's still. So... And then I also need text to be you. Which is going to be harder to do. I could do text near... Hmm. Say text is you. And text near whatever is still is maybe impossible. Because I can't seem to move Baba as you left or right. Because I don't have another you. I have another is, but I don't have another Baba. And text. Uh, text near flag is you. And if there wasn't text near a flag... Let's just futz with this for just a moment. I guess the word push is currently near. But is there any way I can do something like this? So the one bit of text that was me got defeated. All of a sudden my computer hung for a second, but I'm sure it's about to come back. There we go. Um... Yeah, this game reads disk at obvious or unobvious points or whatever. Um, and I am playing this game off of a disk drive that sometimes goes to sleep, <laughs> spins down. Uh, and I just heard the disk drive spin up when my uh, system went to sleep there. And so... If the text were... Yeah, if the text were right here, when it became me... Well, no, Push didn't try to move to the left there, and it's going to get defeated first. I was trying to see if I could have text here that would also then push the word Baba back, but then it would be text near Baba as you. Um, which would also just defeat a bunch of the text. Uh, I mean, I guess if there were another piece of text here, but I mean, it just doesn't work. Push is not moving to the left during this action. It would be during the next turn that Push would be able to move. So I don't think I can say text is you and perform a move before the text gets defeated. There's no move, there's no auto, there's no pull, there's no fear, there's no crazy other ways to do an action at a distance by some other actor. So I think this one has me stumped for the moment. Uh, could still be that there's something I haven't figured out about still that's important. But I don't know what that something is. All right, well, this will give me something to think about before next time. I'm going to say I hope, as always, that you all are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Baba Is You. For now, bye-bye.